Right guys, before this video actually starts, um, I just want to say this is the video I told you about. This is the collab with Yes Epic Yes. Unfortunately, they've pulled out. They're not going to post my video on their channel. The reason was that the reason was that unboxing fail videos haven't been doing very well on their channel and that they've received some complaints about it, which is fair enough. I understand. However, as I said to them, mine is a fucking DIY fails video and not even a very good one i mean i'm not saying that my reaction in my video is not very good but the video isn't very good i feel that a lot of the stuff is fake um i, I feel that it's kind of set up in a way and you'll understand when you watch the video i pointed out a few things that i believe was set up but you know drop comments below let me know what you think i think it's a bit disgusting to be totally honest what yes i pick yes has done to me they have um, had my video now for about three weeks and um, they've posted up at least two videos a day, none of them being mine, but all of it seemed to be other people's work. If you don't believe me, head over to their channel, check it out. It all seems to be small YouTubers like myself that they've got hold of and they've asked if they want to do a collab. They've obviously agreed and so now they're sending their videos to Yes Epic Yes. And Yes Epic Yes is receiving all the revenue for it because they have 65,000 subscribers. They are monetized. They're making money off smaller YouTube's videos, which I believe in a way is a bit wrong, I think. I think they're taking advantage out of people, using it as a promotion. But that's not how collabs work. Now, YouTube states that collabs are basically you both make a video. Then you can choose whether to upload it. They upload it onto their channel and you upload theirs onto your channel. Or it's a piece that works together. There's some fine examples of collabs. You might have two gamers and you're seeing the same sort of game clips, but with uh, different gamers in the corner talking and reacting so you get to see both sides that's a collab what i was asked to do which was they gave me a video not very good video may i add and told me to record a reaction to it send them all of it as well as the reaction videos on their own with not uh, diy fell footage so if they needed to they could edit it i asked them that before they upload it, send me a copy because I don't want my work that I've put in to be altered too much to take away my signature, so to speak. Um, I also didn't want them to remove any parts I've used to promote myself, i.e. saying this is Master Sending, saying a little bit about my channel, which I think is absolutely fair considering I did all the fucking work. They might have sent me a video that they created, but I did all the other work, it took me a few days to create the video, and now they've decided to use it. You might sound being bitter. Maybe I'm being slightly bitter. But I want this video to be seen because I worked on it. So guys, that being said, here it is. Hi guys, Master Sending here. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic week. Welcome to this video. It is DIY compilation fails by Yes Epic Yes. Yes Epic Yes has asked me to come along and react to their video. So guys, please. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ding that little bell, leave notifications, and share their video. Yes, I pick yes, they're doing a great job. Their videos are awesome. So share, share with your mum, your dad, your sister, your brother, your granny. Don't care who, anyone that you feel would appreciate seeing how decent DIY is done. Enjoy, guys. Okay, DIY fells. Let's go. What's he screwing in? Is that a shower pipe? Hey, don't use pliers. Yeah, it's definitely a shower because that's a wet room. And a hammer. Really? Metal against metal. What's going to happen here? Oh, now you're unscrewing it. Well, you've got it off. Oh, and water everywhere. Did you turn the water off? No. No. So, my advice would be, go and locate your ISV. If you can't find your ISV, there is always... Uh, ISV stands for Inside Stop Valve, by the way. If you can't find that, which is usually located under your sink or somewhere around the main water pipes that lead into the house, go outside, usually outside your front door, um, you'll find a outside stop valve. Turn one of them off before you ever start doing any water work. This is what this guy needs to learn from that. 
And also, don't hit pipes with a hammer. Anyway. Oh, she's back and cleaning. What's she gonna do? Gonna hoover up her bag, maybe? Oh, no. No. No! <laughs> the hose ain't even plugged in. Oh, and she's not even realising. Has she got a music on or something? <laughs> oh, poor woman. Does she not realise it's not getting any cleaner? Look at that industrial size vacuum cleaner. It's not even plugged in. <laughs> oh, she's still going. Have you noticed yet? Ah, oh, she's noticed. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So obviously my advice there is when you're vacuum cleaning, make sure the hose is plugged in. But, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, at least she realised. Oh, Reese's butter. Oh, peanut butter cups. They're delicious. Okay. How's this a DIY fail? Yeah. Okay. Break it free. <laughs> I've even caught red headed. No. I don't know. No. No. That's evil! I'm still gonna eat oh. this! No! Yeah, I don't yes. blame you, it looks delicious! Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no. Why away. not? Why? <laughs> Why? Because we're not eating it! You're eating it! What's on your hands? I'm washing my hands with my tongue. I'm washing my hands with my tongue. I'm not eating it. Oh, this is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen! Oh my god, sorry, that's so funny! Uh, obviously. My advice, well, <laughs> I don't even have any advice. <laughs> Did the wife steal the husband's, you know, peanut butter uh, sort of cups? Or, uh, you know, are they on a diet? I don't know. What happened there? <laughs> I don't know. He's screwing in something. Yeah. Hope you use one of the wall plugs to make sure that that screw holds securely. Okay, yeah, we've got to watch him put his screwdriver down, of course. I have a screwdriver too, just in case things go wrong. Talking of which, my camera looks a bit out of focus. Let's uh, just twiddle with that. Oh, and a bit of fun on his head! What happened there? Uh, look, if you are going to put stuff... I'm just going to pause that for a minute. If you are going to put things above sort of like, you know, head height, stand on a stool, or if you don't have a stool, have a chair, make sure they're sturdy enough, make sure someone's holding it for you, because, you know, safety's everything. Health and safety is very important. Let's check out the next video. Yeah. Yeah, I got some board games. We got some CDs. Is this DIY? Clearing out your cupboard? Could that be considered DIY? Because if so, I do it quite often. Uh, I do a lot of DIY, I would imagine. And then, is that got a TV in it? Nope, it fell on your head. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to break your camera. Right, what are you going to do? Right, so you've got your passport. Yeah. What are you going to do with your passport? Yeah, very important. Put it somewhere safe. Yeah, put it up there. That's a good idea. Right, now you're reaching for something. And there's the hangers. Oh, and you knocked down the hangers. <laughs> it was a bit of a stupid place to put hangers. What were they nailed to the wall? Right, okay. What's happening yeah, here? Who this new fan? It's new. Oh, it's a new fan, is it? I would return that if that's new. Shouldn't fall apart like that. It should be a screw that tightens the blade the to that it's pin. Not, not. I overturned that. I think you got a faulty fan. I don't technically think it's that guy's pro uh, fault. Okay. Oh, he ran. He's like, oh, what happened? I heard a noise. What was that bang? What was that crash? I heard something. Oh, look. <laughs> he knew it was him. <laughs> oh, that's a horrible noise. That was from his chair moving. Oh, he's probably scratched up his floor pretty bad. 
Right, what are you gonna do? We're gonna pull in that light bulb. Okay, yeah, stand on the chair. Make sure the switch is switched off before you plug in light bulbs. Now plug it in, yeah. Is it gonna shock him? Oh no! Oh no! I wasn't expecting that. Let's pause that for a minute. All that hype to him, climb up a chair, put a bulb in, jump off. If he broke his ankle, I'm sorry. But, you know, at least something happened. I thought he was going to get electrocuted or the bulb was going to light up. That's happened to me before. I put a bulb in and it's gone boom and it's made me jump and I fell off the chair. But that's because I forgot to switch the light off. Make sure you switch lights off when you're replacing light bulbs. Let's move so on. first, let's move right here on okay. this spot here. Yes. Use for my picture. Oh, that's good Darth Vader and drawing. Did you draw that? It's a cute one. Yeah. It's, uh, it's it a is. Nail. That, well, that little tack. I, I think you called them the tacks. This is the nail nails. you hold it comfortably. Can I hammer it in? That's a bit small. Wrong. If you are hammering okay. a nail that well, small, pair of pliers and hold it in place. So when you tap yeah. it, Oh, that's it! It's falling again! again. Just stop putting it back up! Stop putting it back up! It keeps falling. Right, yeah. You're gonna plug in the iron. You're gonna teach me how to iron. To be fair, I'm rubbish at ironing. Um, shirts are my worst. Trousers as well. I can never get the seam lines. Okay, iron. Yep, nice. Iron. It's doing a good job so far. So, this is a video on about all about how to iron. Or, oh, really? Really? You would stop ironing in the middle to answer your phone. Would you not maybe take the iron off your clothes? Is this a little setup maybe? Possibly? It looks like a nice shirt though. Burn a hole straight through it. Reading his paper outside. Oh, he was singing Adele. Oh, a little bit of rain. Is that rain? And that looks like guttering in the roof. Okay, it's looking for the leak. Have you located the leak? Wait, why is the leak there? Okay, so he thinks he's found where the leak's coming from. He's picked up a little bit of flexi wood or plastic. What are you going to do with that? Plug up the leak? Now, of course, you're going to use it as a step. That would never work. It was too bendy. What are you going to find? Yeah? What you got? What are you looking for? Okay. Okay, so you found, like, it looks a bit like a trellis or something, or part of a fence. Uh, I wouldn't use that, because there's a bit of wobbly wood there. I think that's quite old and rotten, and will probably snap the minute you put any weight on it. But we'll see. Think about these videos. You never know how they're going to turn out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Is it going to snap? Nope, he's going to hammer the leak. What, what did he hammer it with? Did, what, what, I don't understand what's going on. What did he hammer the leak with? Guys, a bit of advice. If you have a leak, don't hammer it. Especially if it's in a wall, you'll make the hole bigger and more water will come through. Oh, it's still leaking. Maybe it is just rain and he thinks there's a leak. But why does he think it's coming from the corner? when it's definitely coming off the roof. Right guys, I just want to analyze this video because that made no sense whatsoever. The leak was clearly coming from the roof, but he seems to hammer in the corner. So let's go through this step by step. So firstly, he got the hammer. We call that exhibit A. He hammered the corner with the hammer where there's clearly no leak. I cannot see a leak whatsoever. So why he was hammering there, I am not sure. Did he plug something up? But it makes no sense because you cannot see any water whatsoever. Now that's a leak. Let's call that exhibit B. That is pointing at the leak you can clearly see dripping off the roof. That fell on his newspaper while he was sat underneath it. But yet, he still looked into the corner. Why? What the f- What the f- Indeed. Is that the same fan? No, that one looks a bit bigger. What are we gonna do here? Your fan's not working, so... You know. Make sure it's plugged in. Or, it looks like he's gonna repair it. Make sure you've unplugged it before you repair it. And we gotta screw- Oh! I've come out of focus again. Just a little bit of twiddling, a little bit of screwing. 
Right, did you fix it? What are you doing here? Okay, so you're adjusting what? The height? You adjusted the height twice. And now you're going to switch it on? And now it's smoking. Wow. What did he do to it with that little screwdriver? Did you damage it? Oh, it's just like, it's the famous hanger and pole. Oh, look. Oh, another person knocked it down. Ah. Favorite way to drink tea, so I'm gonna this could be interesting. I'm English. We know how to make tea. And right. So. English breakfast is my favorite yeah. tea in the world. It's good tea. And Very good tea. We'll try out. I have a way oh, to make it so that it's made with uh, similarly to, you know, a fancy tea. So That's a fancy I just, tea. Basically, I, I boil my water. Tea. I, I go tea bag. Brewed for about two to three minutes until you can't see the bottom that anymore. That's brewed. the right strength. Then here's the splash a little of splash of milk. A couple sauce. of sugars so if you I take just sugar. A little bit of milk in here. That's and, the best way to make tea. Add some honey into there. Honey, yeah, you Very can put simple. honey in tea instead of sugar. And you put it right into the milk. This. Yep. So okay. it's fantastic to blend. Because uh, okay. it makes the milk all frothy, and then I feel like I have a fancy tea. Oh, it's like a bit like a chai latte, because I think that has frothy milk. In my tea. But so I just quickly it's like grab chai the tea cinnamon. latte. I got the spices back here. I just grab the cinnamon, and I... Oh, you didn't even look at what you grabbed. Did you grab the right thing? Like cinnamon don't look white, but... I just maybe it's it different in America. I'm presuming this is America. Okay, yeah. And then you're going to, what, you shake this, it? I've got my blender and my... my Cinnamon. That's your like your then, bullet, your magic bullet or pulse or whatever. Here. Yeah, it says magic bullet on it. Shaking it. Wonder if she got that off the shopping channel. I was sitting there for hours watching the shopping channel. Of people just demonstrating them to make smoothies. It's awesome. Why, and I milkshake. Like honey actually blended in there because it just gives it a better. But see, it makes it, it all super it thickens yummy and it. frothy. So then I just yeah. the tea's been brewed while I'm making Gonna that, tip and it I just in pour the tea. right in there like that. Okay, and you yeah. Can kind of see how frothy it is on the top. I'm not sure if you can see the froth on the top. Yeah, I can. Delicious. Yeah. It makes a delicious tea. I'm and sure it is. It looks very yummy. I just enjoy. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 it's so delicious! What? What is she doing? <gasps> oh, what did oh you put in there? What is that? I grabbed the So that's cinnamon. Instead of the cinnamon, that's just. <laughs> she put salt in his bed. Right, guys, being British, well, you know, we, we are well known for our tea. We love drinking tea. We drink tea pretty much all day, every day. About 10 cups an hour, probably. I don't know. I'm a coffee drinker, though, but I do enjoy my tea. But we like our tea pretty strong here. And there are some we call builder's tea where it is really strong that we have a joke that even the spoon can stand up in the middle. That's how strong the tea is. Um, and the tea is extremely strong and quite bitter. But it doesn't matter how strong we like our tea, how bitter we like our tea. I can guarantee we never put salt in it. What the hell? That is a disgrace to tea everywhere. Let's uh, take a moment for the destruction of a beautiful cup of tea. <sighs> Sadly, we, we never knew you. We never got to enjoy your beautiful, beautiful taste. Oh, well, I'll have a coffee then. Right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for joining us today. Um... This was another video by Yes Epic Yes. I have been your host, Mars Descending. So, guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, and share this video with everyone. Everyone, just everyone. You know, don't matter who. Hey, that person walking down the street. Hey, share that with you. Just share. Because Yes Epic Yes do a fantastic job. I'm sure you can agree. You're all here watching this. If you haven't already subscribed to him, please consider subscribing.
they would appreciate it so much. Anyway, guys, as I said, I've been Mars Descending. Um, if you've liked my reactions, if you've enjoyed this, please come and check me out on my channel after you've watched this. Come over, come and say hello. Leave a comment in one of my videos to say that you have come from Yes Epic Yes to say hi. And, you know, it'd be awesome to see you all. So, that being said, guys, I will hopefully see you all soon. Take care of yourself and bye.